found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for it, Marty! Who? Who? Who do you think? The Libyans! Hey guys, how's it going? Dulos here. I uh, just got back from uh, a trip to North Carolina with the family. Uh, we took the Tahoe and I made a quick bag to take of tools and stuff. Uh, nothing too fancy, but I just wanted to show you what I took. Uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas and uh, maybe think about a tool bag to keep in your car. Now, I've got to make a new bag to keep in the car because I've got some stuff in here I don't want to keep in here with better tools. Um, but it'll be some version of this probably for long term. So this is probably going to be a little bit of overkill, uh, but I got this uh, cheap tool bag from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's got a glow stick in here. I had this. I was going through some of my uh, uh, range gear and found this and threw it in there. Uh, let's see. Pretty decent bag. You know, I'll see how it holds up long term, but pretty decent quality. Um, I had this from a while back. Just had some fix a flat. Not the biggest fan of this stuff, but. Um, you know, worst case scenario, you can't get the car jack, can't get the tire off. You know, at least you've got something. Next, I had a pair of my uh, mechanics gloves. These things are pretty ind indispensable if you're not doing like oil change or something where you're going to use a nitrile glove. Uh, these are fantastic. I had one tie down strap. I thought I'd bring in two, but I didn't really need two. I probably wouldn't even need one, but I brought it just in case. Had a couple bungees here. I also had another bungee in the back of the truck that I used to tie the bag down so it wouldn't become a projectile. Cheap little Harbor Freight light. I think I got it for free. I got a million flashlights, but can't always hurt to have another one. Uh, brought my, is this 3 8? Brought my ratchet. Brought just some pliers. Again, probably overkill, but I wanted to have everything just in case. Got all the kids in the car, it was a long trip. Brought my little engine OBD2 code reader. Brought some paracord. This stuff is coming handy before I got in a rear end collision. I was rear ended once at highway speed and had to tie my bumper back on, and that was very helpful. Uh, zip ties galore in here. You never know you're gonna need a zip tie. Stick a bumper back on or put something up. It's got a flathead. Got uh a ratcheting screwdriver, but I brought it because it takes different bits. Brought some shop towels, brought some nitrile gloves, put these back. And instead of bringing a long uh, breaker bar, I just brought my Makita Impact. Figured for the minimal size and weight and not having to find a place for the bar, it was awesome. Um, I do have lug nut wrench and stuff in the car, but this will make a light work of it. Just brought a battery. There's Dremel bits in here, but I didn't mean to bring in those from stippling on the gun on my one of my glocks another zip tie brought some electrical tape and then i brought a various amount of bits and then different size sockets uh, just various size and adapters put all these back now and then more bits again probably would never need them and actually didn't need them thank god so didn't need any of this, but it's just a safety peace of mind to have some stuff in here. One of the bits fell out. I'm digging it out here. Yep. And then, uh, that's it. The one, the tire change bit actually is here. This is going to go back in the car. This is a deep socket, deep 22, I believe. Yeah, deep 22. That's what's needed for the Tahoe. So that's it. That's all I had in here. And then I'll show you what I had in the truck, too. So in here, I just kept it tied down on this uh, mounting point with this bungee and wrapped around a couple times and it was good. Then in the truck, which was clean before we left, um, I had this emergency bottle which was in the wheel well of the Civic for a while. I figured, hey, might as well bring it. Uh, it's my wife's mace or a mace brought a rag because I just changed the oil and all the, and the transmission fluid and the other fluids. I just want to make sure I had a rag because I needed it. Uh, keep a knife in here. That's always in here. Just a couple of cheap flashlights. Uh, but the other thing I threw in here on purpose was uh, this pump that I had, I guess, in the back here. But I reorganized the bucket back there and tied the stuff down so it wouldn't become a projectile. Um, so I have this little air pump in here. I'm probably going to take this out. And then I always have this. This is always in here, but the seatbelt cutter and window breaker. And 
that's it of note as far as car repair. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, why don't you comment below what you bring or what you do differently? Uh, you know, maybe there's no right or wrong. There probably is a few right or wrong things to bring with you. Uh, but may God bless you. Keep standing up for what's right. And uh, make sure you're prepared because you never know what's going to happen. Or in this case, nothing happened. So that's fantastic. So all I did was check the fluids once when we were uh, down there at our first destination. And that was it. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Please like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you soon. Oh, may God bless you and keep standing up for what's right. <laughs>